Hello, this is Lisa Shea. I'm the low carb editor for BellaOnline.com, and these instructions are for making a very veggie shake mix, juicing mix. So, this is taking the very veggie salad blend and turning it into a juicing mix so that you can add other things into it and make it a more complete meal. Those of you who follow my low carb website know that I have very veggie salad as an actual salad pretty much every day for lunch, and I like it very much. So I was intrigued to see what it would be like in a juicing experiment since I'm doing juicing all week long and not having any solid salads. So I normally eat about half a bowl of very veggie with just olives and cheese and ranch dressing as my lunch. Now clearly I'm not going to have olives or cheese in my juicing version, but we've got the salad part that we just measured out here and that's 136 grams. And we're not going to put that in first because you want to put the wetter stuff on the bottom. So the first thing we're going to actually put into our blender are a handful of grapes. So here are the grapes. That is 52 grams. Let's see, finishes adding. So those are the grapes going in. I'm going to put it into a plastic container because I'm going to eat this later on. We're making this in the morning. So this is a good way to pre-make your shake and then you can take it with you to work or school or whatever and have it as a meal later in the day, as long as you refrigerate it, of course. So we've added the very veggie into the blender. Next up, we're going to add in a green onion. For this green onion, we're going to remove just the very bottom root tendril part, but we're going to add all of the rest of the green onion into the shake. So, for example, this is something I wouldn't normally have in my salad, but I get to have in the shake version. So here he's removed the root tendril, and then he's going to put all the rest of it into the salad, or the shake salad. So we'll have 10 grams of green onion. Another thing that I don't tend to put into my salads, but I should, and we will add into this shake version, is a mushroom. So we're going to grab a baseball sized mushroom, it's a regular white mushroom, and this will be a 43 gram mushroom, and we will break this up into a few pieces as we put it into the shake mixture. Next up will be flaxseed, we'll add two teaspoons of flaxseed. Flaxseed is great for adding fiber and protein. It's important to always get adequate fiber in your diet. If you're doing these juicing recipes and you're using an actual juicer that removes all the pulp, then you have to absolutely make sure that you're adding fiber in because the pulp that you're removing is all the good nutritious fiber out of the veggies and you want to make sure that you get that back into your body. With the blend tech that we use, it blends everything into what we drink, so we don't lose any of the fiber. The fiber just gets um, mushed up a little and put into the shake. And the shakes come out very smooth like a milkshake, so it's quite drinkable. Next up is grape tomatoes. 60 grams. Great for lycopene. And we happen to have English cucumber here, but you can use regular cucumber, whatever kind of cucumber you want. This just happens to be what we have around. So we're going to have about an inch worth of cucumber. And that will be 70 grams. And then we will cut this up into a couple of pieces so that the blender has an easier time with it. Normally you're supposed to use a cutting board for safer cutting, but Bob is living on the wild side today. And last, we're going to add in a half a scoop of whey protein powder. And this is good both for protein content and for a bit of sweetness to the flavor. So a half a scoop is 12 grams. He's going to tear the scoop first so we get an exact measurement. 
So the Excel spreadsheet that I provide with this lets you plug your own weights in so you don't have to use our exact weights. But when you measure your own, you can then plug it into the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet will tell you exactly what all the nutrition values are for the version that you are making. The cost per serving on this shake is $1.27. And most of that is coming from the very veggie salad, which is not an inexpensive salad. We get it for around $3 a bag. But it does have snow peas and radishes and all sorts of other stuff in there, carrots. Now, we're going to try to blend this without adding any water to it and thinking that the salad lettuce stuff is moist. However, that's not going to work, so you'll see in a little while that we're going to have to go and add in a half cup of water to get this to work properly. So we're going while we're going through that process, I will give you the details on a per serving level of this. This makes two smallish glasses of shake. Normally we do a large version and it makes two full pint sized glasses, but in this case it's just being made for me so it's probably a glass and a half of the value. So if you say that it's two three-quarter size glasses, which is, I, I tend to only drink about three-quarters of a glass and get full of this, then the per serving value is 79.3 calories, 0 0.7 grams of fat, 10.9 cholesterol, 40.6 sodium, 11.3 total carbs, 2.4 fiber, 8.9 net carbs, 6.2 protein, and you get 33% of your daily vitamin C. So for someone who's low carbing, this is under nine grams of net carbs, and there's a lot of healthy things in here. So it's delicious, and it gets you all sorts of different nutrients, and it's easy to carry around with you. So if you're going on a trip or something, you can take this with you, where taking a whole salad with a fork and everything like that might be less than easy to do. So now it's blending properly once we added that water to it. It will be done in a second or so. And then we will pour it out so you can see. So again, we made this in the morning and he put it into one of those plastic containers after we did this uh, measuring for you. And I then had it much later in the day and I just poured the contents or, or yeah, the contents of the plastic container out into a glass and it was perfectly wonderful. So this is something that you can pre-make ahead of time, you know, earlier in the day. I wouldn't make it days in advance, but earlier in the day. And then you can have it as a nutritious meal or snack. So he's scooping off the lid. The blend tech is also very easy to clean. When you're done you just run some water and a little bit of dish soap in a blend cycle and it self cleans so you don't have to put it in the dishwasher or hand wash it or anything like that. So a little bit of scraping to get the thicker fibrous pieces off. You definitely want all of that good fiber in you. And then we'll pour it out. Oh, actually, right. I'm going to take a taste first. Make sure that it's okay. He was worried that it might not be sweet enough, but between the grapes and the protein powder, it is nicely sweet. It's not sweet sweet like an ice cream, but it's certainly tasty. It is not tart or bitter, let's put it that way. So here we go. This is the mean glass of shake. You can see what it looks like. So the full recipe is printed online on my lowcarb.bellaonline.com site with the Excel spreadsheet. And let me know if you have any questions.